so we got two different nozzles. This is a dual nozzle. Two tiny little holes in there, 45 thousandths of an inch in diameter. And then these openings have been flared out with a uh, with the flare tool. Those are just the ends where the gas expands out. We have bronze up here, brass here, the two threaded together. And then sealed with O-rings. It's like sealing the gas poured on a welding uh, MIG gun. They do the same thing. They use O-rings to seal the gas port when you plug it in so you don't lose your argon gas. That goes in here. And you can see there's a slot there. That goes in like that. Fits into that slot. So that's a dual nozzle. That's to power up the top and the bottom slots on the rotor. That rotor's got three slots. And then to power up the middle one, we have this nozzle. This is a different nozzle. This one's made out of aluminum center board. And we're using a MIG contactor as the nozzle since the nozzle is 40 thousandths of an inch in diameter. It takes 35 thousandths wire. Here's some Here's some MIG wire. This is 35 thousandths MIG wire. And it's got about 5 thousandths clearance to come through the contactor. So that's about 40 thousandths in diameter. Very tiny holes, but that's all you need. And that goes into a center board hole. It's got a little indexing key on it, so it only goes in one way. It doesn't rotate. Can I see that indexing key again? Oh, uh, yeah. It's that little flat. Right. So that goes in. This nozzle will not spin. And there you can see the nozzle poking up. Beautiful. So just just barely clears the rotors just barely clear this hole. And of course this is bored out so the gas isn't obstructed in any way. So you send the gas down tiny little holes. That one's forty thousandths. And two of these are 45 thousandths each, so you can vary the amount of gas going into this. You can vary each of these inlets independently. You can have one on, that's at 40 thousandths, that's for economy. <clears throat> and then you can turn two on, two of the ports on, so you have a 40 and two 45s for a lot more power, like when you're starting up. You're spooling up the rotor, or uh, say you put a, a heavy load on on the turbine, and then you open up this momentarily to give the whole system more power. It's just a matter of adding power, and then when you don't need the power, then you you go back to your economy nozzle. This is your power nozzle. That's the economy nozzle.